Hello, and yes, you are looking at my cat right now, but, um, uh, just something to say at the uh, beginning of this video, uh, after recording this, I realized I spent a lot of it talking about the sort of history of the line that this figure was from, and less showing off the figure itself, so if you don't like videos that are like that, Maybe go watch another one. I'll probably have more videos posted by the time you see this, or not. But I have a lot of other videos on my channel. If you don't like the sort of... Talking about history of figures, don't watch this video. Because a lot of it is. Um, but, yeah. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> what is going on with my intro? That was a very weird intro. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, I haven't done a review in a while, so maybe I'm a bit rusty. But today, we're jumping back into the reviewing business with a great one. The vintage LJN 1985 wrestling superstars, George the Animal Steel. Um, I'm super excited about this figure. It's one of three LJNs I have. And by LJN, I mean the vintage LJN Wrestling Superstars. Um, a brief history on Wrestling Superstars. It was the original WWF, uh, wrestling figures that were released, um, by LJN, which were later... WWF later gave the rights uh, to uh, making the toys to Hasbro because some uh, water guns that looked like real guns that were made by LJN, um, people like robbed banks with with them and people thought that they were real guns and people got shot for, you, for having these. Um, and so... LJN was shut down, and Hasbro got the license and made the little tiny little Hasbros, but these were the original ones, and they were huge. Um, if you're wondering how I know all this information, it's not because I did a bunch of research, it's actually because of the show, The Toys That Made Us. If you don't know what that show is, it's a great resource for learning about toys, and this one has a episode. It is professional wrestling, and it talks about a bunch of different lines, LJN wrestling superstars being one of them. Um, uh, something that, before the review starts, I would like to mention is funny, is originally, these figures were not meant to be this big. They were actually meant to be smaller figures, and they took the, they were going to take these molds and shrink them down and put wires in this. I really thought. I could go a couple videos without malfunctioning, but it happened again. This stupid joke has spiraled out of control because I can't just speak. Did you hear that? I was like, N -n 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 -n. I'm, I. They were bendies, but they f didn't have time to do that, and had to release them like this. So. Yeah, I think that's better. I had to adjust my camera a bit, because this was not working. This is better. Oh, this is totally better. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Um, but as I was saying, uh, I have three of these wrestling superstars, and you can actually see them back here. These are probably the two... Most common ones. They were both part of the Wave 1 release of the figures, along with other whole bunch of other figures, Hulk Hogan, uh, Junkyard Dog, all the all those guys. And these are the two most common ones. I see these two a lot selling, and these were the two that my dad had when he was a kid, and they were passed down to me. You can tell these are in ter uh, not terrible, but... Yeah, regular kind of condition for 
these figures because there were these big things and kids would smash them together and do all this stuff that they wouldn't usually do with regular figures because they were hefty and durable. And they're just usually in not the best condition. So, good condition ones can sell on eBay for quite a bit of money if they are uncommon. But the first wave which was including those two, are pretty common. Now, this was also a pretty common figure. Um, not in this condition, though. This is great condition for this figure. Um, and is uh, very well pre uh, painted. Um, there's not a lot of chipping, except for on the eyebrows and a little bit on the tongue, but... Um, a lot of these figures can have terrible chipping on the tongue. With this figure, you want to look at the tongue because that is a very big part of the figure. And kids would kind of smash them head first or whatever. The tongue is a lot of the time chipped or not very good condition. Um, so as you can see, this figure is very rubbery. And I like a lot of things on this figure. One being uh, the belly and the chest and the arms here. You can see that the they have molded hair, and I, the texture's great. It's a super well-molded figure, and it's amazing, just an amazing mold. If you don't care about wrestling, um, this might not be the best figure for you because you probably wouldn't know who it was, but uh, an example on why these figures are so great is my friend Eden's Figure Collection. Um, actually wants to get a great, uh, the Iron Sheik, which is the one, the bald one that I just showed, because he likes it, and he, I'm pretty sure the story is he grew up playing with it at his grandma's or something, and knows the figure, and so, um, yeah, these figures are just great, uh, and I just love holding this, uh, the hunky one spe uh, specifically. Like, this one's pretty beefy. Another one that I want... The next one I want to buy is the um, King Kong Bundy. I'll put a picture. Um, another bigger guy that I'd, I just love holding these figures. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can see the paint on the uh, tongue there is pretty good. Um, the paint on the eyebrows is not as good. Um, but that's still fine for this figure. Um, you can see on the butt there, there's a lot of chipping. But, uh, speak, uh, if you think about it, um, and if you look at other figures song, this is a great condition, George Steele. Um... 1986, it says. So, this was not in 1985. It was actually 1986. I could have read that. Um, LJN, LTD, that's it. Yep. Um, yeah, so, um, I guess that'll do it for this review. Um, if you enjoyed this, um, check out my other reviews. I have a lot of them. And if you'd like to uh, just see these figures, um, uh, then check out those other reviews because um, they're all similar to this one. Um, so, yeah, check those out, and I'll see you in the next video.